is when most people think about something, they wonder about something, I actually do it. I get obsessed. Can I pull it off? Can I really convince IKEA to allow me to live and sleep in one of their stores for a week? Can I really bring a goat into the Apple store in Manhattan? The answer to both is surprisingly yes. Learn to think big. I've learned to block out negative people from my life. I have learned that if you always make conservative safe choices, you will always get conservative safe results. And most importantly, I have learned the power of perseverance and that with perseverance, almost anything is possible. I had a genuine fear of flying. And the only way I, I really thought, Mark, this is how you're gonna get over your fear, is to force myself to fly over and over again, nonstop. Again, what happened from doing this after a week and a half of this, the fear started to dissipate, and I actually got over my fear of flying. In one month, I flew 135 times, and I unknowingly set a Guinness World Record, and they put my face on an airplane. I wanted to disprove the myth that New Yorkers are rude. How do I do this? By having people carry me. I wanted to see how far north I could transport, my, so transport myself only by having people carry me. In 19 hours, I was carried 9.4 miles by 155 people, and it was the coldest day of the year. Yes, my body was in pain. I was contorted every way you can imagine. Men were carrying me, women, old senior citizens, the teenagers, musical theater students while singing Lady Gaga, and it ended up with me getting carried onto the set of Anderson Cooper Live. In one month of traveling the country, I was presented 95 keys by U.S. mayors. I'm talking big places. I got the Tampa, Florida key to the city. Milwaukee, Tom Barrett. Uh, I got the key to the city of Baltimore. Big places, little places. And Hampton, Virginia, this is the first time they ever gave the key to the city. Ask, 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 persevere. And some mornings I would wake up and I would have absolutely no keys lined up so I'd cold call city halls. And uh, this is 10.30 at night in his home. I took advantage of my Netflix subscription more than anybody in history for streaming. In one month, I watched 252 films, which worked out to 404.25 hours, which is 3.2 cents. You'd think that this would be fun initially, and it was for a day or two, and then it became very, very hard for me to keep going. But then uh, Andrew McCarthy did commentary on San Elmo's Fire for me, which was good one time, and Netflix found out about it. They started tweeting me, and they flew me out to Los Gatos, we at the headquarters. I got to meet Reed Hastings, the CEO of Netflix, and they made it Mark Malkoff Day at Netflix. So when I went to LA instead of hotels, I asked famous people, can I sleep over at your home? This is Dave Coulier from Full House and Fuller House, Uncle Joey. I did not know him. This is the first time I'd ever met him. I used Facebook, I used Twitter, I wrote letters, I'd email if I could, and I said, can I sleep over at your home? Celebrities are used to asking, you know, can I have a selfie with you, an autograph, I said, can I sleep over? So this is, I slept in Dave Coulier's SUV, I thought that would be fun, but I did actually get to have breakfast with him and I got to hang out with you. Kate Walsh and I had a, a celebrity nap. I would take naps with celebrities during the day as well. Uh, Paul Feig from Bridesmaids, um, who did the Melissa McCarthy movies, a lot of them. And you just never know what people, that's Cameron Manheim's Emmy. So the power of asking is an incredible thing. And I will just end by saying, with perseverance and asking for ridiculous things, amazing, miraculous things can happen. Thank you so much.